In this video, we're going to be talking about five very common manifesting mistakes that no one ever talks about. So let's dive right in, okay? So if you are manifesting and you are following all the steps, you're doing everything right, you're trying to stay in the right air of gratitude, you're welcoming in your manifestation, and it's just not coming, what's going on, right? It's not that manifestation doesn't work, but there are five really sneaky mistakes that almost everyone has made at some point in time or another. And the first one of these is, do you really know what it is that you want to manifest? Or are you just seeing if you can make it work? You know, it's really, really easy to just say, I want to manifest a million dollars without really understanding what that would mean for your life. So are you clear on what you're trying to manifest? Are you actually trying to manifest the number of zeros in your bank account? Or are you trying to manifest the life of freedom that you could buy with the zeros in your bank account? And if you're trying to manifest the freedom, then money is not what's going to come to you, but opportunities for freedom will. But if you're not watching for them, if you're not looking for them, you may not see them for what they are. See how this gets all tangled up? Okay, this is why you need to be very, very clear on exactly what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life. So when you say, I wanna manifest a million dollars, what is it that you really want? Take a minute, ask yourself that, go to the root of it, see what it is about a million dollars that appeals to you and why you wanna manifest it. Now, if you wanna manifest it just so you can show off to your neighbors that you've got a million bucks in the bank account, go right ahead but be clear on what it is you want and why you want it. Now, the second really, really common mistake that people make and don't realize that they're making is a lot of people go into manifestation with a victim mentality. And by victim mentality, I mean they're going into the manifestation thinking the world has completely crapped over me for my entire life. I deserve to get this. This is my payback for being everybody's victim, for being the punching bag, for being the person who got teased, for being the person who was always alone, for being the person who went stag to prom. I deserve this because bad things happened in my life. Well, that's not how it works. Bad things happen in everyone's life. And the really, really sad part is we manifested the bad things too. We just didn't know what, that we were doing it. Once you know you're doing it, you can stop. But if you don't realize that you're manifesting the bad things as well as the good, then the bad things will keep happening because you will keep subconsciously manifesting them. The more you believe that the universe is out to get you, the more you believe that nothing good ever happens in your life, the more you believe that you never get what you want, the more of that you are going to manifest in your life. This is why it is so, so, so important to be aware, be the conscious observer. In fact, I'm going to put a link to the conscious observer video so you guys can go watch that. Be the conscious observer so that you do not subconsciously sabotage your manifestations. Now then the third one that's really, really common, and a lot of people don't wanna hear this, quite often your manifestation isn't happening because you are not making it happen. If you sit on the sofa and you sit there and think, I'm going to manifest a million dollars into my bank account. I'm going to manifest a million dollars into my bank account. Nothing is going to happen. You must put in the work for the manifestation to occur. Now, how that work goes in may be something that you were completely were not expecting. It may be you start a YouTube channel that suddenly takes off. It may be you go to work uh, at a job that has commissions-based sales and discover you're really, really, really good at it. It could happen in a number of ways. You have to be open 
to how the universe is bringing that energy to you. But at the same time, you cannot be passive about it. You must be doing something to open the doorway so that that manifestation can come into your life. So if you want to manifest a million dollars, write a book, start a YouTube channel, do something to open the pathway for that money to come in. The same goes for love, the same goes for abundance, the same goes for fame. Whatever it is that you want to manifest into your life, open the door so it can come in to your life. Okay? Number four. This one trips this one tripped me up for a very, very long time. Number four is people who are unhappy with their current reality. People who are so stuck on my life sucks that that is all they are capable of bringing in. If you are unhappy with the life that you're living now, that means that you're focused on the life that you're living now. You're focused on lacking what it is that you want. And manifestation's a binary system on or off, if you are focused on what you lack, then you will continue to get more of what you lack. Therefore, you need to change your focus. You need to stop looking at what you don't have and start looking at what you do. Again, this is where living in an era of gratitude comes in as well. I have a practice where whenever I see the moon rising at night, I, in fact, I just saw it on my way home tonight, I look at the moon and I say, thank you for the blessings in my life. I don't enumerate what those blessings are. I don't even particularly think about what those blessings are. I'm just grateful that they exist in my life. And the more I remember to do that, the more often I see the moon rise, the more blessings come in. And those blessings come in in a variety of ways. It comes in the form of my grandson giving me a hug. It comes in the form of my daughter calling me up and saying, Hey, Mom, I wanted to check and see how you were doing. It comes in so many different ways because I'm not focused on what I don't have. I'm focused on the incredible life that I do have. So focus on what you have and are grateful for instead of focusing on what you don't have. I know it sounds paradoxical that you are trying to manifest something because you're lacking things. So how do you be grateful for something that isn't in your life yet? You convince yourself that it is. One way that I manifest wealth is I put a steering wheel cover in my car that's all covered in rhinestones because it makes me feel wealthy. The sparkle and the shine makes me feel like I am in a position of abundance whenever I drive. So little mind tricks, little things that let you feel the abundance even before it is physically in your reality will bring that abundance to you faster. And my fifth really, really common mistake, people who aren't consistent. Now let's say Let's give you an example of what I mean by consistent. If you are changing what it is you're trying to manifest, every time you change it, the universe has to energetically scrap what was going on and start over. It's like if you went to a restaurant for dinner and you sat down and you ordered the steak and you're sitting there waiting for your steak and you decide you're being, it's not coming fast enough. You're hungry. You want it now. So you call the waiter over and you say, I'm changing my order. The steak's taking too long. I want the chicken. And the waiter goes and puts in the new order. So in the kitchen, they just had to scrap the steak that they were almost done with to start this new dish of chicken for you. And you sit there and you sit there and you're thinking, I really should have had the chicken by now. It's taking too long. I'm going to order a burger. And you call the waiter over and you change your order to a burger and the waiter goes and puts the new order in and the kitchen staff who were almost done with your chicken now have to scrap that and start working on the burger you just ordered. You can see how doing this over and over and over is going to delay you getting your meal. 
The same principle works in manifestation. If you are changing what it is that you are trying to manifest, then the old order gets scrapped and the new order is begun. Now, while you can manifest multiple things at once, that is something that takes a lot of energetic control and a lot of control of your unconscious thoughts. So, it, particularly if you're just starting out in manifestation, focus on one thing until it comes in. That will build up your confidence in your ability to manifest and it'll make it easier to bring in the next. So, you know, it's perfectly okay to have a list a mile long of things you're planning to manifest. I do. But focus on one at a time until you can bring it in. So those are five of the common mistakes people make with manifesting that no one ever talks about. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Tell me what mistakes have slowed you up. Tell me if there is anything in this list that you didn't understand. Tell me what I missed. I'm not perfect. I love to hear from people. And, you know, this has been a fun video. I enjoyed doing the research on mistakes that people make, even though it means I had to take a good hard look at the mistakes I've made in the past. So please stay tuned for more manifestation videos. There are more on the way. I'm Marna. Thank you for joining me.